Hey everyone, welcome back to new video of Cyprus. In this video, we are going to discuss about NTO. So NTO stands for Make to Order. It is a strategy that is used in the inventory management of Odo. So NTO always helps to produce the item upon the confirmation of the sale order. It do not achieve purchases the item or manufacture the items and keeps the items in our inventory. Rather, it only creates the order or makes the order as a confirmation of a sale order from the customer. And we need to enable the MTO from the configuration settings. In order to manage with the MTO, first we have to enable the multi-step routes from the configuration settings so that the routes will be available under the warehouses. And from this we can understand that MTO is a route which is archived in Odoo platform. So in order to manage with the MTO, first we need to unarchive the road from the warehouses and then the roads will be available under the product. To manage with the MTO for a particular product, we have to enable MTO and manufacturing under the inventory roads of the product. Then only we can just manage with the MTO. The MTO, let's head into the configuration settings and under the warehouse we can see multi-step routes and we need to enable the feature multi-step route to use your own route and as we have just enabled this we don't need to make any changes in the configuration settings now now let's move on to the configuration menu under the warehouses we can see all the routes that are available for this warehouse but here we can see that mto is missing so first we need to just unarchive the route for that you can just click on this toggle search panel download i mean down a uh, arrow and here you can see the archive uh, where you can find the archive route which is replenish on order. Now let's unarchive the route and click on action uh, and choose unarchive so that now the route will be available under the product. Here we have just received an order from the customer for wooden table. So as we just received the order from the customer, we know we won't be pre-stocking the item. That's why you can see that the on-hand quantity of the um wooden table is set to zero. Upon the uh, sale order only, we will be manufacturing the item and delivering the item to the customer. So under the inventory, you can see that first we need to replenish uh, on order. That is, we have to make the order and manufacture the item. That's why we will be only using the route replenish on order and manufacturing. Now we know in order to manufacture the table, we need certain components such as the bolt and net as well as we want wooden top as well as wooden leg. So uh, we have to just combine all these things and under the BOM here you can see that we have just created a BOM for the table and uh, the product is wooden table and you can just give the reference as uh, MTO and we want to manufacture the this item. So you have to choose the BOM type as manufacture this item and you can set the number of quantities that you want as we have just received the order from the customer for one wooden table. We want four nut and bolt and one uh, tabletop as well as four table leg. Now under the operations we have to uh, do certain operations like we have to cut the uh, table legs as well as tabletop. Then that will be done from the cutting station and here you can find that afterwards on the cut uh, our chopped items will be assembled from the assembly station and here you can see that that will be done from here. Now let's move on to the sales module in order to see how the MTO is going to work. So let's imagine we have just received an order from the customer for the product within a uh, table and here under that uh, you can set the quantities in the order lines and later on you can just confirm the order. So as you just confirm the order here you can see that two smart buttons will be triggered. One for manufacturing the item and the other for delivering the item. Here we cannot directly deliver the item to the customer as we don't have sufficient quantity in our stock. So first we need to just uh, manufacture the item. So as we just move on to the manufacturing here you can see the components and uh, under the work orders here first we have to just start the operations. So let's move on to uh, start the operation in the cutting station because that is the operations that we are going to perform first. So once we have just done with the cutting uh, operations, we can just move on to the assembly operation and uh, we can just complete that operation. Now we are just going to start the cutting operation and here you can see that uh, once the operation is done, you can just click on 10 and if you want to just stop that or pause the operation, you can do that also. 
now if as the cutting operation is done the other operation is uh, ready to uh, do and you can just start the operation and here you can see once the assembling of the uh, components are done you can just click on done and here you can see that we have just manufactured the item so uh, under the miscellaneous operation here you would be able to find the operation tag that is manufacturing and uh, the components locations as well as once the manufacturing is done we will be moving the item uh, to the uh, work uh, I mean uh, the WH stock of the warehouse and uh, this manufacturing is generated from the source uh, that is the reference order number 3 and you can also find the deadline of this later on you can uh, see the overview and all if you want to just produce all you can just click on produce all and you can see that uh, the move uh, product moves and uh, you can find everything so here you can see that we have just manufactured a wooden table so a wooden table is a combination of um, wooden leg with four quantities and we know it require one wooden uh, top and um, as well as uh, nut and bolt as well so by the combination of three uh, components the wooden table will be manufactured so we know that components is assembled and manufactured so as the product is manufactured that quantity will be indicated in green color as we have just used uh, different components the used components will be indicated in red color now let's move on uh, to the uh, overview and here you can find the wooden table with its cost and MO cost as well as real cost now you can find the cost of net and ball that is the unit cost and MO cost that is the MO cost is the manufacturing cost as we just used a uh, for quantity of uh, uh, net and ball here you can see that the unit cost is 1 so 1 into 4 will be 4 and the real cost is also 4 and here you can see that the uh, table leg uh, quantity uh, is 4 and unit cost is 60 uh, so 60 into 4 will be 2, uh, two four zero, and the real cost is also that and from this we can understand that we want one table top and uh, the quantity uh, I mean the cost of a uh, table top is just 80 so 1 into 80 will be 80 and the real cost is that's it and the operation cost is shown over here the cutting um, I mean uh, the cutting quantity and the unit cost everything is shown over here and finally we can just calculate the components cost and everything is shown over here now let's move on uh, and under the valuation you can find all the valuations like the movement uh, as well as the cost everything and the final price is also shown over here now as we just move on to the product and under the products here you can see that currently we have just uh, one on hand quantity so uh, we have just manufactured that quantity and if you want to just calculate the manufacturing cost into uh, this we can just compute this from the BON so as we just click on compute from the BON here you can see that uh, the price has now just changed that is the cost has now just changed now let's move on to the uh, orders and let's deal with the order now we just need to deliver the item to the customer as we have the quantity in our stock so as you just move on to the delivery tab here you can see that the uh, product is now available now you can just click on validate button so that you can just deliver the item to the customer and we have just done it with the delivery and under the valuation you can see uh, the movement of the product with the cost and everything so here you can see the total value and later on we can also create the uh, invoice and let's click on uh, create invoice and here we are just going to perform a regular invoice and the create an invoice will be in its draft state and you can find the uh, price over here and now let's confirm the uh, invoice afterwards we are going to request for the payment from the customer so click on register payment and the journal that we gonna use is bank and payment method is manual and later on click on create payment and after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank so this is how we manage with the make to order in Odoo Semti MTO minimizes the storage needs and keeps the inventory level low. But using of MTO makes the delivery lead time longer because as the customer places order for an item, first we need to manufacture in order to deliver the item to the customer. So I hope this video clarifies how to use MTO in Odoo 17. So if you want Odoo customization or Odoo tutorials, feel free to contact Cyprosis. So as always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.